everybody. It's Chris, Crazy Chris's Videos from Kamloops. Hi, how's everybody doing today? So today started out okay. I went outside, did some stuff. Turned out to be a windy, rainy day. So I'm kind of been neglecting Brad's cheesecake. So I'm always saying I'm gonna do a cheesecake for everybody um, to see. So I'm gonna do a cheesecake. Um, and I always, with my cheesecakes, you know I do not follow recipes, I just wing it. But before I start, because it's, it's a really fast, easy, easy cheesecake. But before I start, I just wanted to show you guys. So I, this morning, I'm like, the reason I have my hair down, not usually when you're cooking, I wouldn't have it up, but okay. With staying at home all the time and working outside and inside, I don't do anything with my hair anymore. It goes up in a pony and that's it. Put a hat on, whatever, never do my hair. So today I decided I would use my straightener and do my hair and put a bit of makeup on. I know. So when I go downstairs um, and I don't have sweatpants on, I mean yoga pants. So when I go downstairs, Brad is gonna be like, are we having company? What is going on here? Because he's not used to this anymore, right? I mean, I don't know. I just thought I couldn't get over how long my hair is. And you know, like everybody else, it's starting to grow out because I'm guilty of getting my hair done too every couple of months. Um, and it's always trying to get a new color. So it's funny because you know, now the, the new color that everybody, the younger, people let's just say is they want to get that platinum you know the platinum you see them and they look so nice and brad's always like why don't you get that platinum in your hair um seriously hello i'm pushing 60 here why would i want to get old hair when i have it i could just not dye my hair it would be platinum so no i'm not gonna go platinum just saying brad love ya not doing the platinum that would be old lady hair. So anyway, that's just why my hair is out because I was couldn't get over how how long it was. And then I thought, what the hell? Put some makeup on, some earrings, and after I do this video, I'm gonna rip it all up and out and put my sweats back on. Okay, so what we're gonna make today is a cheesecake, a non-bake cheesecake. Um, and what I try and do, so Brad either likes it, he really likes it with pie crust on the bottom so generally that's what I do and then sometimes like today what I like to do I, we neither one of us likes the um, graham cracker crumbs nothing wrong with them it's just not it's not not the ones that we like so what I try and do is with my Vitamix which you know it just works great mixing everything up so in here I have got pecans coconut and almonds and then what I do is I just in the dry mix container I mix this all up and it'll all just in about a minute it mixes into crumbs so then what I'll do is I think there was about by the time it was about two cups of the crumbs that I made from here with about a quarter cup maybe a little bit of less and then I just pressed that all mixed it with the butter melted the butter mixed it with the, the um, nuts um, and just put it in the pan pressed it in and I just put it in the fridge for a while while I was doing everything else it's really simple really easy you know I just do whatever I have in my cupboard sometimes it's cookie crumbs sometimes it's like whatever it is but usually the nuts because we really like them so the crust is all ready and then basically all I do is I take um, two packs of the cream cheese and I will put that in my bowl to mix it up with my KitchenAid but in there I will put the cream cheese and usually I have a tub of I will mix that up put a bit of vanilla in there and then I'll put about maybe a cup of uh, icing sugar and I'll mix that all up and then what I, you know, then you've just got it so that it's easy to work with. What I like to put in it is I try and keep tubs of Cool Whip. And I really like to fold a, a tub of the Cool Whip in because it makes it 
light and it's not so dense. Um, and it actually, if you're using that, you don't really even have to use the icing sugar, maybe just quarter cup. Now, I didn't have any today, so again, what have I got in my cupboard? Well, I had some vanilla pudding mix, so I made up some vanilla pudding, and in my vanilla pudding, so I did that on the stove, um, it was the instant pudding, so in with that, I put, okay, are you ready? Because we gotta have some of this good stuff. So I put in there some icy squares, and, I'm serious, I just use, I've still got stuff from Christmas. So I have almond roca pieces, oops, <laughs> and icy squares. I melted some icy squares in here, and also, if you've ever had these, they are called, they are salted sea salt caramel chips. Okay, these are bad boys. That all got melted in with the vanilla pudding and I am going to just mix this in here now this is going to have to set because like I say it might be hopefully it won't be too runny um, and then I'm just going to fold that in as well and in that I've used my little tiny you've probably all got one of these or something like it I use it for grinding either nuts or so in here I ground up some of the uh, chocolate almond roca pieces. I ground some of those up and I'm just gonna dump that in. I mean, I dump everything in. And then I've reserved some crushed pecans to put on the top. Or you can put your pecans in and I'm just gonna put those all in. Okay, so basically we've just folded that in. It seems a bit runny, but you got to remember that once it's mixed up and it's going to set in the fridge. Now you should be doing this earlier. It's, it's four o'clock right now. So I don't think Brad's having this tonight for supper. Basically I just fold it in. I did throw a little bit of cocoa powder in here. If you want to make it just a little bit, I mean, what's not to be chocolatey. We've got salted caramel. We've got icy squares. We've got almond roca and we have some cocoa. So we're just going to put that in our springform pan. Oh, did I mention there's no calories in this? <laughs> yeah, right. Who cares? Who cares? You know, I know everybody that we've had to stay home, you get a little bummed out. Um, you make some comfort food. I really like though how people are learning how to cook again at home. I mean, you know, we are, we're cooking more at home, we're learning how to do stuff, we're trying new recipes, which is really great. I like the fact that everybody is trying new recipes. So simple as that, you put it in there. I also like to, let's see if I can like squirt these all over my house now. Oop, totally did. So these are the uh, little score pieces and they just kind of dress it up and then the score pieces as you know are just like the little toffee pieces and so you're just going to sprinkle some of those on and then I might throw a few more of, whoops, of the almonds on there. So I don't know if you can see that. So basically it's like I said, it's kind of runny right now. I'm gonna put that in the fridge. You could cover it maybe with some tin foil. You can also put it in the freezer. I've done that, you know, if you wanna speed it up. It really probably would be best to leave it till tomorrow because it has the pudding in it and everything else. And those salted caramel, it's all gonna to bind together. And when you take it out, I, I kind of like to cut the pieces and then I usually will put it and freeze it so that I can just take a piece out for Brad at a time. I say for Brad. I, you know, I never even used to like cheesecake. Apparently now I do. I like a lot of this stuff. Well, it's really easy. Um, hopefully I didn't, you know, I will try and write it out for you because uh, it's all in here. And But I'll write it out and I'll attach it to this video and give it a try. Because you know what? You can't screw making a cheesecake up. You really can't. And even if it's 
not like comes out in a perfect piece, put it in a bowl and eat it with a spoon. So make your dessert tonight, enjoy it. Take care everyone, stay home, stay safe.